Outside of Oaxaca is the village of Teotitlan del Valle, famous for its rug weaving. We had booked several rooms at La Cupola, a charming B&B run by Demetrio Bautista Lazo and his wife Maribel. It is painted in desert colors, serving up comfortable beds and a sumptuous breakfast every morning. Demetrio, a master rug weaver, is a bit of a celebrity in this area, charming everyone with a quick smile and an infectious laugh. I was curious about the fact that most of the villagers in Teotitlan were also rug weavers. I sat down with Demetrio to ask him a few questions. There's a tremendous history of crafts in Oaxaca. Why did Teotitlan become the center of rug weaving? I think people uh, have the skill for it. They, they like it because one of the things that, uh, about rug weaving is that you, you have to like it. Otherwise, you know, it just won't happen. Where did the traditional patterns come from in rug weaving? The traditional patterns come from uh, the runes that we have around here, mm -hmm. like mainly from Mitla, Teotitlan, and Monte Alban also. Mm -hmm. So you can see on the rug patterns, there are a lot of diamonds mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, key patterns. So mainly they come from Mitla. Your family have been rug weavers for several generations now. I'm the third generation, but I believe that uh, my father's father... Goes way they, back. It was way back to that far. Tell us about the process of rug weaving. Uh, everything starts from scratch, like uh, some of the wool, uh, we get it from a town that is called Chichicapan. It's a town in the uh, west part of here. They do the hand carding and spinning for us. How they bring it, it's into a ball, and then we make it, uh, we make it into a skein. We wash it to take the uh, lanolin out, and then it's ready to, to dye with it. What about the dyes? What are some of the plant matter used for the different colors? We use cochineal for reds, which are bugs that grow on prickly pear cactus. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Let's see. and also indigo. Indigo and cochineal are the two most important colors mm -hmm. and the most expensive also. And it's really interesting because when we dye with it, it's not um, a blue color, it's actually yellow-green color. Huh. And then when we dip the skin in, in, into the dye bath, I mean, it still looks like a green uh, color. Right. But then when we take it out and the air touches it, the air oxidizes it. And wow change it into a beautiful blue color. It's like magic. Yeah. <laughs> Once you finish dyeing the wool, do you have to draw a pattern for the finished rug? You don't know what pattern it's going to be when you're making the colors. After you dye with it and then you, you design, decide about the design now. So you don't know the pattern when you start, you just see where it goes? Exactly. Wow. That must take a lot of thought while you're doing it because it's somewhat of a risk because you don't really know how the pattern's going to end up. First I do my sketch, my drawings. Mm -hmm. Depends if it's a, a geometrical pattern or a pattern that it will have curves. Uh, patterns with curves are the most uh, intricate or hard to make. Mm -hmm. So how do the patterns of the rugs represent the people of Oaxaca? It does represent uh, the whole state because you can see into the crafts it will be the same uh, motif as we're using on the rugs and as it, it's used on, on the pottery and even the food it's what represents all the soul of Oaxaca and when people from other countries come to Oaxaca they love it because mm -hmm. Oaxaca it's a real part of Mexico. It must be satisfying when someone buys one of your rugs and you know that it's a part of you. A lady from L.A. came here to visit and she said, that's exactly what I want. And it was not even finished. She wrote me a check and I said, I don't know. This rug, I want to keep it. But at the same time, I need the money. So <laughs> what are you going to do there? <laughs> you can't refuse. You can't refuse. <laughs> so they said, oh, you, you can always make another one. You don't have the time. Mm. We don't even have vacations. No? No. To me, every day is a vacation. Uh, 